one more thing I want to point out here in passing that, that it just struck me when I was taking notes of him that he was talking about the U.S. as an interfering force around the world. And in the United States, uh, the U.S. intervention, imperialism as the real word, or the word that those of us don't shrink from using, is, uh, and he says, a consensus of, of supporting it is starting to crumble. Um, I think this kind of says it all. Uh, we undoubtedly move in two different worlds that are growing further and further apart. And whether or not they're the, uh, the same one or whether or not we have a validity here, the idea that anybody in 1985 can just begin to see the consensus around American imperialism begin to flake at the edges when in fact it shattered into a million pieces and by 1969 uh, <laughs> is totally overwhelms me with, with, uh, with a feeling of, of almost... Uh, if I had to wander in Bob Poole's institutional quarters for a while of being a stranger in a very strange land. I think, uh, hopefully, and, and I feel this, that most of the people who call themselves a libertarian movement up until today have felt a similar way, uh, would feel similar about such things, and in fact the movement has traveled along, perhaps not as fast as us, me in some cases, and perhaps, hopefully, even faster than me in others, but in fact we are getting further and further away from this type of reform the enemy, reform the establishment, reform the state, and Let's, you know, let, and wasting time on people with best interests. You see, there's one fact, and this is a perfect thing to close on, there's one fact that is absolutely essential to developing a libertarian strategy and understanding what we as consistent libertarians, pure types, are fighting for, and that is this. It comes from our Mises, it comes from Albert J. Nock, it comes from Murray Rothbard, who didn't want to stay around for this. And that is this, there are producers and there are parasites in our society. The economic means and the political means of making money, as Nock put it, and so forth. All of these things say the same thing. And the fact is the producers, in some sense, must always outnumber the parasites, or the parasite kills the host and all dies. Therefore, the producers have a vested interest in what we're doing. No, almost nobody that Bob Poole talks about, those bureaucrats, those institutionalists, those think tankers, are producers. They are parasites. And I, for one, have no desire to waste large and inordinate amount of money to convince the parasites on how to trim their operation. In the end, we are fighting for the producers. We are fighting for those great downtrodden who are not yuppies, who are not uh, bureaucrats, who are not civil servants, who don't think of themselves as some kind of amorphous uh, whatever, and in fact I feel that they are being pushed around, kicked around, taxed to death, uh, their, their businesses uh, destroyed and so forth by the state. That is what I'm fighting for. Taxation is theft to these people, the draft is slavery to these people, and in fact when it comes, push comes to shove and they get enlightened, they're going to go for radical solutions and not sit around and talk about 1% uh, cut this year uh, sales tax reform or whatever. And that's, I think, where we finally disagree. Thank you. Mm.